Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at how we can uh, take advantage of relationships that are created with uh, Dynamics 365 FNO entities. Okay, so in finance and operations, we're used to dealing with header and line tables. So think about PO header, PO line, or sales order header, sales order line. We're really used to that concept. But you can actually take advantage of that same concept inside of the Dataverse in making your Power App. So you might have a Power App where you're clicking on the sales order header or PO header and you want the lines to display. So there's already built-in relationships that Microsoft has given us to work with to make that happen and it's really easy to use them if you know how, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at what I'm talking about here. So if we go into, um, I'm in the make.powerapps.com. If I go ahead and take a look at the tables, and the table what we're going to look at today is the sales order header table. So in, I am using virtual entities here. So um, everything's, all my tables are going to uh, have MSERP in them. So I'm going to type in MSERP in the search to kind of look for my, my table name here. And there we go, we have our sales order headers and sales order lines are the two tables we're gonna be working with today. So if I go ahead and click on the sales order header and then go over to relationships, one of the things you might wanna do when you first come in here, if you don't see the any relationships in here, come up here, a lot of times it, it, it's def, it defaults to default, of course. <laughs> so what you wanna do, go ahead and click on all or managed, you can see them. but on most of the entities, on the headers or the lines, tables, you'll see that there's a relationship that's been created uh, between the sales order headers and the sales order lines, and it's a one-to-many. So what that means is there's one sales order header and there's a lot of sales order lines, okay? So you think, same thing if you think about PO header, you got one PO header and then a bunch of lines. Or you might have many to one is another type of relationships where you have a bunch of one type of record and then one type of another record. Okay, just or the reverse of that is you know if you have a, um, one uh, a bunch of sales order lines going to one sales order header. Okay, so we can take advantage of this in our in our app here. So if we go in, if, let's go and create just a, a blank canvas app here. We'll go new and do a canvas app. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of join two. Um, two galleries together. So again, using the example of we may have a sales order header, you click on the header and then we want to display the different lines here, okay? And I will warn you that this app's not gonna be pretty, it's just for demonstration purposes, so it's not gonna be that pretty. But uh, so let's go ahead and use a, a tablet layout here. We'll let that open up. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is the first thing is I'm going to add a gallery to this and I'm gonna add a vertical gallery. And I want our gallery just to kind of sit over here on, on the side of the screen here. So again, I'm not gonna worry about making this really, really pretty or anything. I'm just gonna kind of create two galleries here. And our data source on this one is gonna be our, our sales order header. So let's go look for sales order headers. There we go. And what I want on here, just for demonstration, let's do, uh, do title and subtitle. And let's see, we'll make the title the uh, sales order header is fine. And then we'll, we'll come down here and we'll use, um, I don't know, we use put the name on there or something here. Oop, closed up there after it refreshed. Go ahead and put the name name on there. Most most of the sales order should have some sort of name on it. And it's, it's refreshing. If you see the dots going across the top, it'll refresh in just a second. Okay, so on this side of our gallery, we've got a gallery that's got the different uh, sales order um, sales order numbers on it. Okay, and so there it just refreshed, and now we have our sales order lines as well. So let's go ahead and let's just kind of shrink this over. So if you imagine an app, so we will add another gallery right here. So do another vertical gallery, and we'll slide this over here. And just think of this as whenever we click on our our sales order here, we want to know what lines are on it over here, okay? So if we go over, on, make sure we have our gallery highlighted, and if we go over to the advanced tab over here, we're going to change the, the items uh, attribute here. And what we want is, so this is gallery one right here, so I didn't rename it, it's just gallery one. So what we want on this side is we want gallery one dot selected. So we want the, that gives us the selected record, so whichever record we have selected, but then we want the sales order line. So we'll see that pop in there. We want our sales order lines there and select that there, okay? 
So what that's going to do when this refreshes, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to add some extra fields here. Let's go ahead and, um, I'm, I know I'm going to need another field here. So let me go ahead and add another label in there for that as well. Nope, put it in the wrong place. Click on this. And uh, let's go ahead and actually, let's, let's do something here. Let's change some of the, I don't need that image on there. I'm just going to put title and subtitle. And I'm going to go ahead and put another label in there. So let's go ahead and slide this over a bit. And we'll add a label. We'll slide this over here a bit as well. And slide that out. Okay. So let's go ahead and pick our fields that is, that's going to be on here. Um, uh, so we'll go in here and hit edit. And so I'm good with the sales order number being here. So this uh, subtitle here, we're going to put the... Uh, Let's look for the item number here just so we can see what's going on. We'll go ahead and put item number there and then we'll put on um, the, I think it's called line description. So we'll scroll down we'll put in our line description on there and that's going to give us the description of the line. Okay, So you can see what's going on here. So I've, I've left the sales order number here on purpose just so we can see it change. So let's go ahead and uh, look at this app now. So now whatever line I have highlighted it's going to change and give me the lines on it. So, so it's linking those two together, all right? So, and you saw how easy that is to do. All we're doing is we're just specifying that relationship in the next gallery. So we're basically linking these two together. So again, you know, any, any record I click on over here on the left side, it's going to display that information on the right side. Okay. So like I said, this, you know, this app is not pretty, but just mainly for demonstration purposes. And just think of how powerful that is. Uh, probably the majority of your apps that you're writing for finance and operations will have some sort of, um, two galleries linked together because you're always dealing with header and line um, line tables in, in FNO. So I thought this was a really important one to to uh, take a look at and to show you. I saw it the other day and thought it was really neat. So I thought I'd show it to you. So if you like this video, if you think, found any uh, use out of this, go ahead and give it a like or a thumbs up. That just helps the distribution of the video. And I put out this content about once a week. So if you, if you want to see more of what I post, just go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Uh, go ahead and hit the notification bell. That way you get notified when I upload a new video. Okay, so again, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.